Hey guys, it's me. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a pack with me for uni. So let's get straight on to it. Brief overview. I am moving into uni on a Saturday, the 14th of September, and I have not really packed at all. I have got two boxes so far, and they have just sort of been shoved with random stuff. I want to label them. I have already got a list on my phone. The list I will put up right here it is just called What to Bring to Uni. This is sort of just a rough idea of stuff that I know, stuff I've seen on TikTok, stuff people have suggested to me. So I've got a bedroom category. I've I've got a bathroom category, I've got a kitchen category, I then got a bedroom decor category as well and then obviously clothes is just a given. Ignore that I caught a spot so I put spot patches on my face. Let's go start packing because I actually am really excited and it's sad that I am getting excited over packing. Like I am excited to pack. <laughs> So, so far, this is everything I have got for uni and this is the stuff I have packed. But we're now going to start packing it into the boxes behind. I'm going to start by opening these and I think I'm going to start with maybe the kitchen. I feel like that would be easy because I've basically got everything. So, would that be a completed box? Oh my god, I'm actually so out of breath. I swear I am healthy. So we got our kitchen box all ready to go. Actually, majority of my kitchen stuff is in this box right here. Kitchen bits, some trays, chopping board, more chopping boards, wooden spatula, got a pack of utensils, kitchen shears, then got a whisk, a cheese grater, a jug, cheese slicer, can opener. I then have four knives, I have four forks, I have four like, baggy clips, I have a peeler, I have a frying pan. But I don't know why, I feel like Rapunzel with this frying pan, like... I then have this three-piece saucepan set as well. I'm going to just look at my list to see what else I need for the kitchen. I then today went to Sainsbury's and got a few more bits. So I got this Thermo Brilliance Leak Proof thing. If you've seen these on TikTok, you know they're the like the really cool like and it gets out all the air. They're on sale. So I grabbed a big one, but also this little one. I then grabbed two of these trays. So this is a loaf tin, and then this is a square baking tin. So for the big plates, side plates, bowls, drinking glasses, mug, and stuff like that, I'm literally going shopping in my kitchen because we have so much stuff. And oh, I also did get some cleaning bits. This is on my list of stuff i got these dishcloths i got a little dish matic with the refills i then got a scrub mummy i then got some dental multi-purpose cleaning wipe these will be mostly for like my room and the bathroom and whatever but also quite handy to have but a few more items i can tick off of my list oh i got surface wipe where did i put that one I got this flash spray and it's pink. Obviously, if you can tell, if, if it's in pink, I'll get it in pink. So what I am going to go collect from my kitchen are big plates, side plates, bowls, drinking glasses, and some mugs. I'm going to get two to four big plates, two to four side plates, two to four bowls, two drinking glasses, and two mugs. So this is the beauty of my kitchen. We do not need that many plates for a three-person household. We have plates and bowls and cups coming out of our ears so i'm going to take four of these we've got four of these i'm going to take four of them four bowls two cups and then i'm going to buy just a cute mug because i don't really use mugs but it'll be cute to have them it's now a while later i have been to tesco's i've got some more stuff from my list that i did not have so i've got some other mitts i've got some cling film i've got some aluminum foil i think that's like i've got a lot of other bits as well but like that's like the main bit you know earlier i got this dishmatic thing it's got a gray bottom and i found one at tesco with a pink bottom so we did one at home anyway so we're gonna use this one at home and i'm gonna bring this one to uni because it's got pink I got these two packs of Ziploc bags. They are small and medium. I then got cling film. I got non-stick baking paper and I got kitchen foil. I then did get some washing up liquid as well so I have my own. I then got these two mugs because they're on sale. They're just really cute and like plain. I was like I don't even drink drinks but like I feel like I'm gonna try because it looks cute. And I also just got a small pair of rubber gloves. Oh I need to go get the stuff I left downstairs which is my plates, my bowls and my cups. You did see that I collected a lot more. I think I got four of each. I changed that to two of each because that is just a bit ridiculous having four plates when there's one of me. I got my plates and whatever. So I got two cups. 
I then got these tea towels from, I think it was TK Maxx or maybe Matalan. But they're just really cute autumn ones. It's got pumpkins, we've got a autumn-y coloured one and also a green one. Then we've got two bowls, we've got two little plates. And then I got three big plates because I just feel like three big plates are a good number. Now let me compare my list to see what else I want to get for my kitchen. I still need a sharp knife, but I need to see if we have any in the kitchen that are spare. Maybe an oven dish, but I feel like I could use that. If not, I don't really need an oven dish. I put a blender question mark because I wasn't sure. If I want one, I'm going to take the one that we've got in our house because we've got, I think, two or three blenders for some reason. So actually, for now, the kitchen box is now done. Now we've got a little bit of a different angle, but I think we're going to move on to my bathroom section. But I found and retrieved a bigger box that I can make my bathroom box, which would be very nice. Two bath towels, two hand towels. I have got a pink bath mat. I have then got a toilet brush cleaner. I have got a little soap holder. I have got a bin with a toothbrush holder. Oh, now this stuff is everywhere. In this bag, I have got some flash wipe down kitchen, um, kitchen bathroom cleaner. I have then got glass cleaner and then also toilet cleaner. I'm going to include all of this stuff in my bathroom section as well. So I've got some hand soap. I've then got some like toilet gel. I've then got germaline. I've got some antiseptic wipes and bin bag. I have got some plasters. I then have a little squeegee and have two boxes of paracetamol. I then have a pack of tissues. I'm just going to put it in here. Actually, yeah. I then have this Febreze bar from Spice Apple. I have an over the door hook. I then have two flannels. Oh, I just found some more kitchen stuff. I've got a pair of scales and some oven mitts. I then have some new shampoo and conditioner. The rest of my toiletries I won't be packing until basically the day before. Um, I'm gonna put toilet roll in a separate place because I physically don't, there's not enough room in here. I'm just gonna put the other basic bits I have. So I have some more in this big box as well. So I've got a brand new razor and a, another pack of razor heads. More kitchen stuff. So I'm now going on to a whole new box. I am going to make this one I think some bedroom stuff. Last things is command hooks. I absolutely love these stuff, especially for uni stuff. I then got the Febreze plug-in vanilla cookie thing. This is allowed in my uni accommodation because I know some, you're not allowed these at all. But for mine, you can't have incense, you can't have candles, you can't have like an open flame. So I thought this would just be perfect. It's a plug-in smell. So my room still smells pretty. I then have two standard pillowcase set. I then have two packs of spitted sheets. I then you got this really cute duvet set from from Urban Outfitters. It's just got little cute bows on it and I think it's really cute. I then got these curtain lights. I then got this little stationary caddy for my desk. Got these little star lights. I've got all of these clove organisers for like my wardrobe and under my bed. I've then also got some posters that I never used in my room so I've just printed them off at home. I have also got some more posters coming in the mail. That is bedroom number one. This is going to be bedroom number two. I'm in my pyjamas still, but that's going to stay like that because sorting involves a pyjama day or a lounging around day. So we are staying with the pyjama look today. But we've got all of my boxes behind me that I did yesterday. It was really chaotic yesterday because my room was a mess. My mind was a mess. I couldn't really function. So if the filming was all over the place yesterday, well, that is why. But today we're going to get back into it because I've got three boxes left. That is not going to fit all my stuff. I'm going to bag up clothes into bin bags, basically, for my clothes because otherwise boxes, I will have about four boxes of clothes. It is not going to be good. I'm going to take basically my whole wardrobe do i care no not really we're gonna be sorting out more of my stuff today other bits like i'm gonna pack books i'm gonna pack my stationery i'm gonna pack other little miscellaneous bits around my room so my room's gonna look really empty and it's gonna be really sad i'm actually gonna get a bit upset let's start packing because i'm actually kind of excited i'm getting excited for uni i am absolutely terrified though i feel like i can feel mental breakdowns and anxiety attacks and panic attacks forming as we speak but we move past that and not now we're in a good mood so let's just get on sorting because i want to get these boxes out of my room as soon as possible so that involves packing and sorting them we're on to pack number two of these boxes these boxes honestly have saved my life are they tiny yes but do they fit stuff in also yeah 
As we're onto a new box, you know what this means. I need to write and I'll post it now with my whiteboard marker. I think I'm going to lob all my stationery and little accessory bits into here. Bunch of stationery, obviously you saw it in my What's In My School bag haul. Oh, if you haven't, I'll leave it up in the iCard in case you're interested. But then also I collected a few like little bits like emergency kit and stuff like that. So that can just go in here. I'm still able to box stationery because let's be honest, it's mostly going to be stationery. So my handwriting is getting worse and worse the more I write these. There she is. Ah, itchy nose. So this consists of all of my stationery that I've got so far, but I'm going to get stuff out of my drawers as well because obviously, you know, I've got a ton of stationery that I do not use. so far i've added some more stationery that i found in my drawers i've added a few emergency kit items i've added a spare toothbrush and toothpaste that i found that's brand new i'll just take it out of the packaging i've got transparent sticky notes i've got my tied to go pen i've got a bit of everything in here but this box has still got a lot of room that i can stuff all of it so i'm gonna add some of my books that i know i want to take with me as well so these are the books in question we have got the whole off campus and briar U series and then also corrupt i'm gonna be bringing a lot more books than this but for now this is what i've definitely decided that i want to bring so that is some of my books packed. Okay, this box is now getting really random, but I also just saw this that I want to bring. It is just a projector. Why are these not clicking? Okay, once again, it is much later from the day. I am now dressed. I knew I wasn't going to get dressed, but I got dressed because I went out. But I think we're going to start on some clothes because the clothes are the things I'm dreading the most. I'll definitely get out my winter stuff, which is on my bed. Oh, it's on my bed. But I'm going to start filling up the last remaining two boxes and then the rest of them I'll try and fit into this box. So I pulled out the box from under my bed. I'm now going to sort through it and decide what I actually want to take and what I'll either get rid of as well because I haven't got these out all year so I might not want some of these items anymore. did is i've basically taken most of the stuff out and i've kept it i've got rid of a few tops so i won't wear them again this is my all of my long sleeve tops i've got for the winter season and then i also got a pair of uggs i found under there as well i'm gonna start packing some of my shoes as well because although i only have i think about four pairs of shoes i can live with only like one or two pairs currently just screaming my lungs out it's a teenage dream because why don't you Pajamas. I might be able to pack it on pajamas and I still want to pack more. I've got three pairs of like actual pajama bottoms. One normal just t-shirt. I have, I think this is just four pairs of brandy pajamas. Is that too many? Maybe, but also why not? So and I have options, you know. Like what if I wasn't feeling one pair one day? Oh my god, this has actually been absolute pain to pack if i'm gonna be like that for every single item of clothing i want to pack bulbo he's like gonna pack you wait 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 what do you like about this girl i mean there's like a lot of things i'd probably start with i like the way she smiles she got me staring for a while got me staring for a while yeah yeah Maybe it's our conversation, she's my favourite notification So I've for now just finished putting some clothes up here I obviously need to organise this and organise it into categories as well so then I know what I've got and what I need to add and what I could take away because I feel like so far I don't think I'm doing too bad maybe the pyjama section I've added a few too many but that's okay She's hot, she's hot but goes cold, goes cold like so this is the box so far of my trousers this has just got literally everything in it so far there's definitely so many more added because this hasn't even got my jeans in it oh, 
She's hot, she's hot, but ghost cold, ghost cold. Like, I forgot, I just got one more shot of espresso. She's hot, she's hot, ghost cold. And she's like, I forgot, oh, it's bittersweet, you know, and no one's friend of all, every riding. I don't know where she vibing. She's hot, she's hot, but ghost cold, ghost cold. Like, I forgot, oh, it's yeah, like I forgot, oh, it's one moment. Okay, so this is my tops so far. There'll definitely be a lot more as well going in here, but it's what I've collected so far. It's mostly long sleeve winter top, and then some more smaller tops, my workout stuff, and then loads of going out tops as well. So this is currently what we're working with. I've got my pillows, I've got my duvet, I've got all of these boxes, and majority of them are packed properly. Obviously, like, the snack one, I'm going to buy more snacks, I'm going to fill this up a bit more. Stationery, I can probably fit some more books and whatever in there. My clothes, I'm still sorting for, like, I've got Part. I've got loads and loads of washing on so that will be filled up. That one I need to go through. That's got clothes and also just miscellaneous little bits and bobs. And then those two are basically done. So basically all these boxes are ready to leave my room. It's starting to feel so much more real. Like it is only the Sunday before I leave in less than a week which is actually kind of terrifying. Like, this time next week I'll be in my accommodation so that is absolutely terrifying. This is what we're dealing with today. It's literally the same outfit I've been dealing with most of the week. Am I gonna get dressed today? Um, I will, later, but not for sorting. I'm not doing that. So we're dealing with greasy hair, a jumper, fluffy socks, and then just pajama bottoms. But I think we're basically done sorting for now. As much as I physically can do it, it'll just basically be over the next few days, like finalizing it. I also hope you enjoy, are enjoying my like little back to school series that I'm doing. Cause I'm actually trying to do a back to school series this year. I say it every year, but this year I've actually succeeded so far. So that is a, a bonus. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. Bye.